A police officer in Lagos State, Nigeria, has rejected the sum of 4 million naira bribe offered him to release a detained drug suspect and change the findings of his investigative report. The police officer and his did not only reject the bribe, also arrested the two persons who offered the bribe. This was made known few hours ago by the Nigeria Police Force Public Relations Officer, Olumuiwa Adejobi, in a news release he made available. The news release tagged, Drug Abuse, IGP comments Lagos cops for rejecting 4 million naira bribe during investigation, as police arrest drug peddlers, recover drugs, ammunition in Lagos, indicated that the Inspector General of Police, IGP, Kayode Adeolu Ebetokun has commended the police officer and his team for the exceptional behavior. According to the news release, the Inspector General of Police, IGP Kayode Adeolu Ebetokun, commended the officer in charge of the police tactical team attached to Area K, Marobo, Lagos State Command, SP Rewan Kasumu, and team, for rejecting the sum of 4 million naira, 4 million nairas, bribe while investigating a case of drug peddling and unlawful possession of ammunition. The team had arrested one Esther Newman Obiekezi, female, 42 years, aka Kandi, of number 6, Moji Red Street, Ilobo, Lagos, on the 6th of February 2024, at her best where she sells drugs called ice and recovered a large quantity of the substance and some AK-47 live ammunition from her. In the course of the investigation, the duo of Aket Esther, female, 43, and Oke Okebalam, male, 49 years, of Ajambadi, Lagos, came to the station in Ijanikin, to solicit for the release of the drug peddler, Esther, and offered the sum of 4 million naira, and pleaded that the police should stop disrupting the illegal business, drug peddling, of Esther, henceforth. The police officer who frowned at the offer seized the cash and marked its exhibit and arrested the duo for further investigation and prosecution. The IGP, therefore, reiterates the commitment of the force to harnessing all available means and adopting professional anti-crime strategies to tackle all forms of crimes and criminality in Nigeria. IGP meets strategic police managers, rolls out police achievements in seven weeks at 114 violent criminal suspects arrested, 107 kidnapped victims rescued. As police make vital recoveries of exhibits, including from petroleum-related, cyber crimes, prepares for 14th Bipoga, Police Award Night. The Inspector General of Police, IGP Kayode Adeolu Ewetoko, at the monthly police conference with strategic police managers comprising members of the force management team, assistant inspectors general of police, commissioners of police and heads of tactical units, highlighted significant milestones attained by the Nigeria police force in the past seven weeks, demonstrating a relentless commitment to ensuring the safety and security of all citizens. During this period, the NPF has made remarkable strides in combating violent crimes. Notably, a total of 814 violent criminal suspects have been apprehended, disrupting criminal networks and bringing perpetrators to justice. Additionally, the diligent efforts of the NPF have led to the successful rescue of 107 kidnapped victims and the recovery of 166 sophisticated firearms, 1,074 various ammunition, and 41 vehicles. The IGP highlighted some of the successes to include the arrest of three notorious kidnappers in the FCT, nine suspects in connection to attacks on Mango, Flatu State, rescue of kidnapped victims in the FCT, Rivers, Ekiti, and Quara State, amongst others. Furthermore, the IGP acknowledged the efforts of the NPF Explosive Ordnance Disposal Unit EOD, to calming the tension associated with explosion risks in prone areas across the country, as well as the efforts of the National Cyber Crime Center, NPF and CCC, in clamping down on individuals and groups engaged in cyber-related crimes to the tune of over 36 billion naira. The IGP similarly noted that the strategic deployment of the NPF during the just-concluded run-off by elections across 26 states of the Federation paid off as 14 suspects were arrested, including two public officials for election-related offenses, while one pistol was recovered, and a thug was lynched by members of the public. He stated that the arrested suspects will be handed over to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, upon conclusion of investigations in line with extant legal provisions. 
Also, the IGPO senior officers to encourage their subordinates with the aptitude for sports to participate at the forthcoming 14th Biennial Police Games by Poga, themed Oluyole 2024, set to be held in Ibadan, Oyo State, from February 24 to March 2, 2024. He equally assured that the forthcoming Police Week Award ceremony would serve as an avenue to recognize officers who have exhibited bravery and dedication in upholding peace and safety. The Inspector General of Police has expressed the resoluteness of the NPF in its mission to foster a safe and secure environment conducive to national development. Views Exclusive Rights, SCP Ulumuyiwa Adejobi, First Public Relations Officer. First Headquarters, Abuja, the 8th of February 2024. Officers who are hung bring the news in a more digital way.